Next question is from Brawl Art. Is there any value in taking glutamine? Glutamine. You know, glutamine was a huge yeah, was. bodybuilding supplement in the 90s, especially. I used maybe to take it all the time. Early 2000s. Oh, yeah. So the, 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 the philosophy was this. Well, first off, they had studies showing that burn victims who were, giving, who were given glutamine would, would heal faster uh, than if they weren't given the glutamine. And so the bodybuilding community, of course, the supplement industry took that and said, oh, it helps with recovery. Oh, plus, here's another selling tool. Glutamine is the most abundant amino acid found in skeletal muscle. So it must mean we can take glutamine and get all kinds of uh, incredible results. It, it doesn't work that way. Glutamine does help a little bit when you're under tremendous amounts of stress, when you're teetering on overtraining, but it's pretty small. It's not really significant. If your protein intake is high, it's probably not going to make a difference. Here's where glutamine can be beneficial. Uh, immune and gut health function. In, in many cases, because the gut actually uses a majority of glutamine, in uh, repair. So what you find now is glutamine is more of a gut health immune supplement than it is for bodybuilding. Yeah, but, but is, that, is, the, is that all canceled if you're taking either a BCAA already or you're taking a protein shake or not you're hitting BCAA, adequate protein? Not BCAA because those are th three other amino acids. But if you took a... <clears throat> oh, that's right. Glutamine is not in the, in the BCAA. No, it's not so. even essential. So that's it's right. a non-essential amino acid. But if you took... If you uh, had, for example, in, in, in gut health and immune studies, they find that whey protein is beneficial. Whey protein is naturally high in glutamine and the branched chain amino acids. So would it give you the same results? I would probably say yes. Here's where amino acids get kind of interesting, especially like the branched chain amino acids and glutamine. If your protein intake is low, then you may benefit. So who would I have supplement with amino acids? Vegans. Always. My, as, a, as a trainer... When I had vegan mm. clients, because uh, it, it was pretty rare that they could get their protein up pretty high unless they supplemented with protein, I would have them take branched chain amino acids or and glutamine before and after the workouts, and they would notice- So glutamine and creatine then, huh? Yeah, it, creatine, glutamine, uh, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, right? The branched chain amino acids. And they would get they would notice benefits, or maybe just the essential amino acids, right? Which include the branched chain ones. But if your protein intake's high- not really. Like if you're listening to this and you're working out and you're doing everything right and then you add glutamine to your supplements, you're probably not going to notice anything. Yeah. By the way, since we just had the other question right before this, if I had to compare which ones I prefer, I would be I would lean more towards the sauna and the cold plunge than I would uh, glutamine. Oh, right. Yeah. Personally. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would agree with that. You know, you know which amino acids I like to utilize? My protein takes high, so I really don't supplement with too many amino acids. But I do like theanine on an empty stomach with caffeine. That's a totally different uh, thing, though. Oh, uh, yeah. You got me to fall in love with that. I really yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, but other than that, um, amino acids, you know, if your protein is high, not tons of value. If it's low, then you can find some interesting things with individual amino acids, you know, happening. By the way, you can take too many, by the way. Like, too many branched amino acids can cause reductions in serotonin because right. of the way they get compete. depressed, right? I've heard. Yeah, because they compete with the production of, uh, of serotonin uh, with tryptophan, I think, which is part of that creation. And so they'll find, like, I used to do this. I would drink branched amino acids all day because I thought, oh, I, the more the merrier. And I was kind of like- People are still doing that. I know. I, yeah. Literally, I'd have a jug of water and I'd pour my beer, and that was it. I'd drink it all day long. And I was kind of flat. I noticed I needed more caffeine. Then I learned about that and I'm like, oh, okay. I think I'm taking uh, too many. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.